Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Aima. In this quick video, I'm going to guide you through the process of connecting your cPanel to VS Code. This connection will allow you to securely access and manage your files and projects directly from your Visual Studio Code Editor. Yes, so you'll be able to open files, uh, edit them and save them in real time directly in Visual Studio Code and all those changes will be updated on the server directly. So without any further ado, let's jump straight in. All right. Yeah. So the first thing that we need to do is actually set up our FTP account. So all you have to do, go to your hosting uh, dashboard, go into your cPanel. For, so from the cPanel, by the way, I'm using Hostgator. And uh, yes, if you're considering changing your hosting service provider, yes, Hostgator can be actually a uh, a good fit for you so i've left a link in the description below if you click on that link and buy hosting i'll get a coin or two if you find value from this by the way yes so uh the first thing we need to do once i'm open into my cpanel all you have to go to is to files down here and we shall select ftp accounts so what we need to do is actually set up our ftp account first yeah so uh log in uh definitely here i'll just put a name for my project i'm going to name it this okay that is cms1 all right yeah so with the domains i already created a subdomain uh for this particular project yeah so i have my main uh domain which is aim at digital.me you can check out my portfolio uh but i created a subdomain specifically for this project yes i'm working i'm learning php and uh, this is one of the projects that i'm working on it is a content management system yeah so i created a subdomain select the subdomain this is uh the domain that is actually having all the files that we shall be working on um yes here all you have to do is actually put in a password yes the password okay uh let me say this is um all right uh, let me put in the password again you put it in again all right yes so once that is done uh yes as you can see the directory is here however my files are not in we don't have any kind of uh i'll change this so that it goes direct to this particular file yes directory so this is where my files that i'm going to be working on are so make sure you keenly view this the directory is very important because if it points to a different one definitely you will not be getting the files in your vs code so make sure that the directory is actually right yes any quarters i'm going to leave it to unlimited once that is all clear i'll just simply select create ftp account and within no time yes we have a success message down here that our ftp account has actually been created yeah so as you can see this is the one if i go to configure ftp client i'm able to get these details these are the details we're going to be using when we're connecting vs code yeah so once that is done let's head back to vs code all right yeah so um uh, here i am in vs code all i have to go to do is go to extensions and from extensions we're going to be using one simple extension it's called ftp simple type in ftp simple yes here it is uh click on it uh click install yes i trust yes install and like that it will be installed within no time all right yes so once that has been installed the next step we need to do is actually configure configure our ftp simple uh, vs code with our ftp account that we created so all you have to do press f1 yes and that will bring for us uh, up here a simple search and from here simply uh, type in ftp config file yes ftp and we shall from this we shall select uh, ftp config yes ftp connection settings select on that yes we shall have this uh, little Java javascript uh, file that will enable us to connect our vs code here to the ftp account that we created yeah so let me minimize this a bit uh, so that we're able to see uh, this concurrently i put this here yeah so what we shall need is actually these manual settings down here okay number one with host name simply put any kind of name 
maybe a name for your project that will that will help you remember it so for my case i'm going to be uh, using sm so that is cm s1 yeah so with the host yes remember i'm using hostgator all you have to do whichever hosting uh service provider you're using once you're logged into your cpanel all you have to go is to go to is the url here and you're going to copy the first uh few digits from uh, the start until where the dot com the domain ends i'll select that copy it and bring it here under host like that yes uh for that case remove this http let it just be uh yes remove that http the port as you can see down here the port is 221 uh the type is going to be ftp the username yes the username that we created this side when we are creating an ftp account is what we shall put in yes we shall copy this oh sorry i'll copy this like this uh copy it come here to username and paste it there number two yes you need to put in the password that you actually used this site when you're setting up the ftp account yeah uh, let me put in my password mm, okay yeah so the rest can remain as is yes the path that will go directly to the directory the file directory that we set the side auto save yes we want to have our changes saved automatically yes and we want to remove this uh this we want to change this to false why do you want to do that is that when we never whenever we make changes we don't need to confirm them to confirm those changes to be updated let those update automatically yeah so once that is done, we have su 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 successfully set up all this. We have set up the config file. Yes, let me uh, maximize again. Uh, make sure you save this. If you already enabled uh, auto save or under VS Code, then that's okay. But if you haven't, make sure you, uh, you press Control S to save. Uh, we shall close this. Uh, once that is done, we shall come to terminal uh open a new terminal here and go to output go to output and from here we have this option of tasks go to tasks select ftp simple yes so if there was any problem any uh let's say any errors will be shown here but it seems everything is okay for now yeah so once that is done we are left with only one step press again f1 Yes, we go back to our little search window here and let's look for FTP simple uh, open uh, remote directory. Okay. Uh, yes, remote directory open to workspace. This is the, uh, the function that we're looking for. This is it, that remote directory open to workspace. Select that. Yes, we shall be uh, prompted to select the kind of... Uh, yes uh the directory we, we 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 had created you remember it was s1 it, it was uh, it was cms1 uh once that is done you will be in position to see uh all the files that we have in that current directory so for this case we're going to open all these select current directory and as you can see down here um yes visual studio code is downloading everything yes once that is done it will refresh yes say i trust i yes i trust this and as you can see this side all the files that i had uh, uh under my cpanel are actually here yes if i go to my index dot uh php i'm able to access all the files that i had yeah so uh, as you can see yes all the files have actually come let's see if this is true let me first go back to my cpanel uh let me first go back to my cpanel um yes i go to file manager i see the files that are in that particular project you see the directory is that is home for a metal and uh, when we scroll down we have s that is c m s1 and these are the pro these are the files that we have there and likewise if you go back to um if you go back to visual studio code these are the same files that we have okay so let's make some changes here and see if they will be updated live
yeah okay so once i run the file uh yes as you can see i'm working on a project this is the project i'm working on uh it is it is uh it is a php project i'm trying to create a cms yeah this is a template i'm going to be rectifying many of this stuff so this is the project on the live server these are the files so i'm going to make some changes uh in visual studio code and we see if they will be affected okay this is the index.html so if i delete everything here yes this will be okay we shall be do you want to save okay yes i want to save this i save so when you go back to our browser and refresh as you can see everything is no more yeah and if i go back to visual studio code i control z i make sure i save I make sure this is saved and once i go back to uh live server yep so i think everything is clear so let me try changing some of these menu items and we see so this is a dashboard this is supposed to be dashboard it has one two three so let me change this text in visual studio code and see if it will be updated remember this is i'm not using localhost this is live on the web all right let me go back to visual studio code um okay uh let's first minimize the header all right the header is just up here okay yeah and then we have the sidebar here okay. so where we have the text uh one two three this is it when you go back to the live on the side menu you have one two three you have add new post categories and the list goes on and on so let me go here and update this to dashboard let me say i'm going to change this to dashboard okay um you can say dashboard okay dashboard all right so once that is done i click save yes so once that is saved i come back to my live server refresh and as you can see dashboard it has been updated I refresh again everything is coming right up yes so if you found value in this video make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, you will be updated whenever i get new videos up and running give me a thumbs up and if you have something to say please leave it in the description below